who decorated these baskets? Who filled the baskets? The Easter Bunny. Ah, now I don't believe you because the Easter Bunny is not even on the trail yet, Eddie. It's too far out. He can't, he, he couldn't have slipped in here and done these Easter baskets. So I think maybe the Easter Bunny helper did it. But which one? Who's the Easter Bunny helper? There were two Easter Bunny helpers. Oh, two Easter Bunny helpers. Okay. Well, they're so cute. Uh, you know, I've shared with y'all on videos how I, oh look so cute peeps little peeps oh so cute I love those little peeps we made a dessert the other day using those little peeps and it was so good um hopefully you can find that recipe somewhere on the video on the um that thing right there that Eddie's pointing at me <laughs> um Last year, I did not make Easter baskets for my grandchildren because COVID had just hit and nobody was going anywhere. So that was very sad. And now this Easter, now that we feel safe to get back with our immediate families, uh, all the Easter stuff, the Easter Bunny put it in storage. <laughs> so I can't get to it. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Stuff happens, you know. Next year. Next, Next year. year, yeah. Big celebration. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to share with y'all, and I, you probably already got this recipe. Um, I would think everybody would know how to do this. It's Kari hires his rooks, Kari rooks, my niece. This is her favorite rice recipe. And Kari brings it to every family meal that we have, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. She always brings this. And um, I've got, that's probably, it's probably a cup, right at a cup of chopped onions. So I'm gonna, um, you know what, before I do that, I think, I don't think we have to worry about it sticking, but um, just to make me feel better, I'm gonna do a little squirt. Um, I mean, this is so simple. And you know, I don't, I don't do it very often, and, and I don't know why. I guess I think of it as Kari's dish, and it should be a holiday. So I'm gonna put our chopped onion first on the bottom of our dish and then the recipe tells you to cut up well the recipe actually says margarine but you know um, I don't believe in anything but the real deal so we're using butter and you just cut that butter up and drop it on top of their onions and I think I'm gonna just use that much, not quite a whole stick. All right, the next thing I'm gonna put in, and the recipe does not call for these, but we are, uh, I think I'm gonna put the rice next. So I've got uh, one cup of long grain white rice. So in that goes. And like I said, the recipe doesn't call for mushrooms, but our family just happens to love them. So this is gonna be nice and mushroomy. Uh-oh. Can you believe it? Great this up on that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna add is two cans of beef consomme. I like to use one can of consomme and one can of just beef broth, but you know, this is fine just like this. So 
so you can actually, you know, if you use those wet bases, if you use those wet bases, uh, you could make your own beef broth. You wouldn't necessarily have to buy uh, cans of soup. Just make your own. All right, let's see now. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna cook it for one hour. Um, I think the temperature, the recipe reads 350. If Kari knew I was making this, she would be over here in two shakes of so the bunny rabbit's tail. <laughs> okay. That's it on our carbohydrate, <laughs> lots of carbs side to go along with our pork tenderloin. We'll see you in one hour. Our uh, timer just went off for our brown rice. So it's been in there for one hour. Woo! That's ever more some kind of heat. This, I'm gonna cut this oven off. And uh, this brown rice goes with you know, just about any kind of meat. It's great with beef, pork, chicken. So whatever you're cooking for your Easter meal. Oh! Oh! That looks delicious, doesn't it? Yum, yum. Now I'm gonna let it sit and let that rice keep soaking up. That wonderful beef consomme. This is a perfect side for no matter what you're cooking or um, shoot, you could add some more vegetables to, to that and have a, a one bowl meal, couldn't you, Eddie? Yes, that's what I like. <laughs> well, if you cook this at Easter, I think you'll be very, very happy with it. So, there's not a bunch more to say about this wonderful uh, brown rice other than it just tastes so dang gum good. Get a spoon. And I, <laughs> get a spoon. Yeah, get a spoon. And I definitely recommend putting the mushrooms in it because that makes it much more meaty. You know, it's got some texture and meat to it. So I'm just gonna let that sit there. Ouch. And let that keep drinking. Speaking of drinking, would anybody like a drink? <laughs> Eddie said thumbs up. I'm ready for another diet soda, Eddie. <laughs>